Way back in the day, Florida attracted many uh, tourists who would arrive in trailers. They called them tin can tourists because they kind of resembled tin cans. Uh, this is uh, a newer model that probably dates back to the, I'd say maybe 60s. Actually, a tin can tourist probably started in the, in the 20s. And they were very primitive trailers. This is very deluxe compared to that. You can see <clears throat> as uh, sofa beds there make over into the single beds there and some wood paneling here. It has um, cooking facilities, sink. So you could set this up in a campground. And very possibly some people spent months in these over the winter down here in Florida. At the time, there were motels uh, established. That was a new thing, too. Before that, there were basically hotels, but motels established themselves on major roads. Now, this is a bigger model. As you can see, quite bigger. Has a window air conditioner in the back, so it's ready for any climate. It's a minaret. Now looking inside you can see the kitchen cabinets. And dining table. Seats there. stove and uh, sink. And uh, bunk beds back here. So this is considerably bigger. Now there's an Airstream. They're very popular and they had a very streamlined appearance and probably cost uh, less to to uh, trailer than many of the less streamlined models. Very compact and yet having all the necessities. There's a toilet in the back end there and stove and sink. Nicely arranged. I'm taking a little bit of a walk here to another trailer. This is another Airstream. I'd say a newer model here. Beautiful reflecting surfaces on these trailers. I think they're really the Cadillac of, uh, of trailers, travel trailers. There I am taking a picture. You can see these are all fastened onto the frame.
very smooth. Notice how difficult that curve would be to make. This has an awning too. Nineteen sixty four. Wow. Hard to believe this is almost 50 years old. Very nice.